Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about masks. Masks for your face and this is like sheet masks, clay masks, uh, charcoal masks, uh, there's another one, uh, like a cream mask and I use them all. Um, I have very dry skin so I try to moisturize as much as I can but uh, transitional like let's say from summer to winter it's really hard on my skin and from winter to spring and then spring to fall it's just a whole mess so I wanted to share with you my top five masks that I love and hoping that when you use them you love them too okay so the first one I have here is the mud mask and I use this if I have like a blemish or I just see like some texture on my skin. Um, I like to use uh, this type of like purifying mad, uh, not mad, mud mask. I have a Dead Sea mud mask in one hand and then I have a purifying mud mask in the other. This one's a Hava and this one is from the brand Dead Sea mud mask. <laughs> Not really sure, but I got these as um, samples, as uh, bigger samples in my subscription boxes. And as you see, I get a lot of subscription boxes um, every single month. So it's really cool to have. It's actually travel size too, and that's what I love about it. So I can always take one with me if I'm going somewhere, which hopefully I'm going somewhere really soon. I'll let you guys know if it you know pans out. And... Um, yeah, so this one basically what you do is you apply a thin layer, but like thick enough where it's covering your skin. And for both of these, you wait 15 minutes and then you use a clean warm washcloth and gently rub the mask off. So it's not like one of those like peel offs or anything like that. I hate those type of masks. It really irritates my skin because I have sensitive and dry skin. So. I try to steer clear of those type of masks. Okay, so the next one that I'm gonna talk about is a sheet mask, and this one specifically is from Too Cool For School. So this one is the egg cream mask. So it has uh, coconut water, it has egg yolk extract, and it's super slimy <laughs> and hydrating. Um, it's kind of gross when you put it on because it's really wet and cold so you're just putting it on very lightly just grossed out but once you have it on it's pretty refreshing um, it doesn't like burn or anything like that on my skin anyway and you typically put it on for 10 to 20 minutes and then you can just remove it it doesn't hurt it doesn't stick to your face it kind of leaves like a residue like a serum residue and so you just kind of rub that in you can even rub some like on your neck and you're good to go for the day. Then you have this like glow on you. Um, how I tried these though is through trying on different like boxes, like box sets basically. So I tried the like basically a variety of sheet masks and I saw that this one was like my favorite one. So I got this from off of Sephora and I love trying out like new things and I love when they have curated boxes that have a lot of different stuff that I can try out at once. This was literally $24 and you get five sheet masks, which I think is a great deal. So yeah, that is one of my faves. Another sheet mask duo or a box set that I really loved was the Dr. Jart. Um, this was the tarot one through seven so this is what it looks like it was actually I think it was seasonal um, I'm not sure that we even have this on the Sephora website anymore but it has one two three four five six seven different masks and this one was $36 so from this box set which ones I really loved there were two of them there was one called the Rubber Mask Hydration Lover. So it's kind of freaky looking. <laughs> um, you, I forgot how you put this on. 
Okay, so first you put on like the cream that's here. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a cream here. And then you put on um, the actual rubber mask. And you have to be very careful because it's not necessarily rubber. It's just kind of like feels like rubber, the actual mask. And you put it on and kind of like just leave it on your face for 30 to 40 minutes. So it does take, it's not like a quick mask or anything like that but it's so refreshing. Once you remove this mask, it's like you went to get your face, like you get a facial basically. Like it feels so, 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 so good. So sometimes if I have like any buildup, I'll do like a little bit of mud masking around my nose because that's where I really accumulate any type of dirt. Um, and maybe like right underneath my uh, bottom lip and maybe sometimes like on my forehead too, like I'll put like a little bit of mud there and then I'll wipe that off and then I'll do a hydrating mask after that so that, you know, my face is super clean, my pores are pretty clean as well and, you know, now I'm gonna get that hydration that I need. So that's one of my faves. And then the next one from this same box is the Dr. Jart Water Replenishment Cotton Sheet Mask. So it's this one. And I really love it. I, I really, there's like not one that I have tried from Dr. Jart that I don't love. But as you see, I stick to more hydrating things because my face um, has usually like texture or dry skin. It's like flaky. So I want that hydration back in my skin. And I, I mean, it doesn't matter how much I moisturize. I still do need that extra oomph, which the masks give me. So next we have this charcoal uh, wash off mask and it's kind of like the mud mask, but this activated, there's one uh, from Origins that I have in my hand and this one's the active charcoal mask to clear pores. So it's kind of like tingly. Um, it feels like there's like something like minty on your face. Like that's like the sensation that I usually get. And once you wipe it off, like you wash it, once you wipe it off, then you basically feel this refreshment. Um, you feel like your face refreshed and clean and it's not too drying, surprisingly enough. So if I have like a blemish or extra texture on my face, then I'll do this and then sometimes I'll just follow up with a hydration mask. So this is really just to clear out my pores, which you can get if you wear a lot of makeup. Sometimes I have my weeks where I wear makeup all the time. Then I go weeks and weeks without wearing makeup. So obviously those weeks that I don't wear makeup, I don't need to uh, use any type of like mud clang or any type of like charcoal um, masks all the time. Usually I just add a lot of hydration to my skin. Which brings me to my last and favorite mask. So this one is Summer Fridays. It's the jet lag mask. And I'm sure you've heard of it. It's been all over the social interwebs. Um, it's as amazing as it sounds. So what I do, I mean, I use this a lot of different ways. I use it sometimes to, um, I basically like put on a thin layer and then I go to sleep. I wake up refreshed and feeling amazing. Um, sometimes I wash it off, sometimes I don't, and I just leave it on. Um, sometimes I wear it like as a primer for my makeup, and I'll just, instead of using like a moisturizer, I'll use this instead, and then I'll put like my, um, I'll put my, like my foundation on right on top of it, and it goes on super smooth. So this is amazing. Um, if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. So that's that now one that i actually haven't tried which i've been dying to try is this caffeine the caffeine like the coffee this is the coffee arabica seed extract one and apparently it's like having a cup of coffee for your face so i don't know about this um i'll definitely try it and i'll let you guys know in my insta stories so uh if you're not following me on instagram definitely go follow me because what i do is i try to put on a sheet mask and then i'll go and scare my boyfriend so that's really fun so um i'll try this one on 
and of course for your entertainment purposes only I'll go ahead and try to scare my boyfriend again so go follow me um, but yeah that's basically all of my favorite masks that I've been using um, I try a lot of different ones obviously I have certain ones for like certain days certain texture of your face you know certain seasons um, I'm all about that hydration so leave me a comment down below tell me you know if you've tried these masks if you have like a better uh, mask out there that I can try um, or that if I should be trying anything new for my sensitive dry skin well guys thank you so much for watching and please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos bye